How to add another cable to a junction box containing a receptacle and two cables. Turn off the power. Remove the receptacle wall plate. Unscrew the receptacle from the junction box and make sure the power is turned off. Make sure the junction box will accommodate another cable. According to the NEC, National Electrical Code, Junction Box Calculation. This junction box contains 14 gauge wires, so in this case 14. 2NM, non-metallic sheathed cable will be installed between the boxes. 14, 2NM cable wires. White, neutral wire. Bare, ground wire. Black, hot wire. Cable from the power source. Cable to another electrical outlet. Disconnect all wires from the receptacle. Using pliers, straighten all ends of the wires that are disconnected from the receptacle. Remove the wire nut connecting the ground wires. Ground wires without wire nut. Install a cable between this receptacle and another electrical outlet. Open the cable knockout in the junction box. Insert the cable into the open cable knockout and secure the cable to the stud within 12 inches from the cable entry point into the junction box. Cable to another electrical outlet. Secured to a stud within 12 inches from the cable entry into the junction box. Cable must be long enough to be properly spliced. Remove the cable sheath. The cable sheath shall extend into the junction box not less than one quarter inch. Green wire nuts should only be used to connect the ground wire. The green wire nut has a special hole at the top that allows the bare pigtail of the ground wire, one of the ground wires to be spliced, to be exposed for connection to an electrical device after splicing. Popular, tan, wire nut which that fits most connections. Wrap the ground, bare, wire from the added cable around the existing ground wires, trim it to the length of the shorter wrapped wire. 
Connect them together with a green wire nut and insert the connected wires into the junction box, leaving the pigtail outside the box. Wires wrapped around a longer wire. Connection secured with a wire nut and inserted into the junction box. With the pigtail wire left outside the box. Trim the neutral, white wire from the added cable to no shorter than 6 inches and strip the end of the wire about 1 half inch. Take a piece of white wire of the same gauge to make a pigtail, strip about one half inch of insulation from the end of this wire, and use pliers and a wire nut to connect it to all of the neutral, white wires from the junction box. Neutral, white, wire from added cable cut to no less than 6 inches long, and end of this wire stripped to approximately 1 half inch. The length of free wire from the removed cable sheath must be at least 6 inches. At least 3 inches of wire must extend from the front of the junction box. Twisting the wire ends with pliers ensures a better connection. Connection made and secured with a wire nut. 3 to 5 twists are sufficient as too many twists may damage the wire insulation. Insert the connected neutral wires into the junction box, leaving the pigtail wire outside the box. In a similar way, connect the hot wires, black, to the black pigtail wire and insert them into the junction box, leaving the pigtail outside the box. The ends of the hot, black, wire stripped of insulation. Connected to the pigtail wire using pliers. And a wire nut. Insert it into the junction box with the pigtail outside the junction box. Group all pigtail wires, trim them to no shorter than 6 inches, and strip the ends of the wires about 1 half inch. Pigtail wires trimmed and ends of wires stripped of insulation. Make a loop at the end of each wire. Loop at the end of each wire. Duplex receptacle connection terminals. Ground terminal, green screw. Hot terminal, gold screws. Neutral terminal, silver screws. Connect the ground, bare, wire from the junction box to the ground terminal, green screw, of the receptacle. Ground wire connected. Connect the neutral, white, wire from the junction box to the neutral terminal, silver screw, of the receptacle.
Neutral wire connected. Connect the hot, black wire from the junction box to the hot terminal, gold screw of the receptacle. Hot wire connected. Insert the wires into the junction box. Make sure the ground wire does not touch any of the hot terminals of the receptacle. Secure the receptacle to the junction box and install the receptacle wall plate. Receptacle installation complete. Restore power. Test the receptacle for proper operation. If this video is helpful please subscribe. Comments are welcome.